H. Rachel Acharian. H. Rachel Acharian Armenian, H. Rach E. Acharian, Reformed Spelling, H. Rach E. Acharian, 8 March 1876, 16 April 1953, was an Armenian linguist, lexicographer, etymologist, and philologist. An Istanbul Armenian, Acharian studied at local Armenian schools and at the Sorbonne, Der Antoine Mailet, and the University of Strasbourg, Der Heinrich Hubschman. He then taught at various Armenian communities in the Russian Empire and Iran before settling in the Armenian Soviet Socialist Republic in 1923, working at Yerevan State University until his death. A distinguished polyglot, Acharian compiled several major dictionaries, including the monumental Armenian Etymological Dictionary, extensively studied Armenian dialects, compiled catalogues of Armenian manuscripts, and authored comprehensive studies on the history of Armenian language and alphabet. Acharian is considered the father of Armenian linguistics. Life Acharian was born in Istanbul, Constantinople on 8 March 1876 to Armenian parents. Acharian was blinded in one eye at an early age. His father, Hakob, was a shoemaker. He received initial education at the Aramean and Sahajan schools in Samatia, then at the Getranag in 1889-93, where he learned French, Turkish, and Persian. Upon graduation, he began teaching in Katakoy, Constantinople, but in 1894 he moved to teach at the Sanisarian College in Erzurum. In 1895, he was accepted to the University of Paris Sorbonne, where he studied under, among others, Antoine Maillet. In 1897, he became a member of Société de Linguistique de Paris Linguistic Society of Paris, where he presented a study on the Laz language. He then met Heinrich Hubschmann and transferred to the University of Strasbourg in 1898. Acharian moved to Russian Eastern Armenia and began a teaching career at the Javorjan Seminary in Ejmiats in 1898-1902. He thereafter moved to Shushi 1902-4, nor Bayazet 1906-7, nor Nakhishevan 1907-19, and then to Iran, Tehran 1919-20 and Tabriz 1920-1923. He taught Armenian, French, Turkish, Armenian history, literature, and accounting. Apart from teaching, he studied Armenian dialects wherever he resided. Acharian moved to Soviet Armenia in 1923. He was one of the most prominent Armenian scholars who moved to Soviet Armenia from the diaspora. He was arrested on 29 September 1937 at the height of the Stalinist purges on espionage charges. He was accused in being a spy for numerous foreign countries, Britain, Turkey, and being a member of a counter-revolutionary group of professors. He was released on 19 December 1939 due to lack of evidence. He died in Yerevan on 16 April 1953. He is buried at the Tokmak Cemetery. Academic Career Acharian became a founding member of the Armenian Academy of Sciences when it was established in 1943. He was a corresponding member of the Czechoslovak Oriental Institute since 1937. Acharian taught at Yerevan State University YSU from 1923 till his death in 1953. He mostly taught Persian and Arabic, and in 1940 initiated the establishment of the Department of Oriental Philology slash Oriental Languages and Literature at YSU. Acharian knew numerous languages, Armenian both modern and classical, works on Armenian dialects. In 1909 Acharian's First ever comprehensive study of Armenian dialects classification des dialects Armenians classification of Armenian dialects was published in French in Paris. The publication was praised by Antoine Maillet. The Armenian edition Hey Barbar Hagetot Eun, 
Armenian Dialectal Studies was published in 1911 with a map of the dialects. Acharyan proposed a classification based on the present and imperfect indicative particles, om slash om om dialects, k at slash g at key dialects, and ll dialects. In 1913, the Lazer Institute published his Armenian Dialectal Dictionary, Heyerin Gawar Hakin Barharan. It includes some 30,000 words used in Armenian dialects. His studies on various Armenian dialects have also been published in separate books. These include publications on the dialects of Nornak Hishevan 1925, Maradha 1926-30, Agulais 1935, Norjugha 1940, Constantinople 1941, Hamshin 1940, Van 1952, and Ardeal Transylvania 1953. 1902, he published the first ever study of Turkish loan words in Armenian. Armenian Etymological Dictionary. Acharyan's most cited work is the Armenian Etymological Dictionary Heyrin Armatak in Barharan. It was first published in Yerevan in seven volumes between 1926 and 1935 and includes some 11,000 entries on root words and 5,095 entries on the roots. The latter entries include early Armenian references, definitions, some 30 dialectal forms, and the borrowing of the word by other languages. Its second edition was published 1971-79 in four volumes. It is widely considered a monumental work that continues to be used as a reference work. Antoine Maillet opined that no such perfect etymological dictionary exists in any other language. John A. C. Greppen has described it as surely the most complete ever prepared for any language. Dictionary of Armenian Proper Names Acharyan authored a dictionary of Armenian proper names Hayats and Znanonari Barharan, which was published in five volumes from 1942 to 1962. It includes all names mentioned in Armenian literature from the 5th to the 15th centuries with brief biographies and proper names common among Armenians thereafter. Complete Grammar of the Armenian Language Another monumental work by Acharyan is the complete grammar of the Armenian language, in comparison with 562 languages Lyakater K. Irakanot Yaun Hayats Lesvi, Hey Matotiam 562 Lezonary, published in six volumes from 1952 to 1971. A seventh volume was published in 2005. Historical Studies Acharyan authored several major works on history and historical linguistics. The History of the Armenian Language was published in two volumes, 1940 and 1951. It examines the origin and development of Armenian. He also authored the most comprehensive study on the invention of the Armenian alphabet. Its first part, Examining the Historical Sources, was published in 1907. The third part was published in Hans Amsoria in Vienna from 1910 to 1921, and then in a separate book in 1928. The first two parts, examining the historical sources and the life of Mesrop Mashtots, were published in Eastern Armenian in 1968. The complete work was first published in 1984. Acharyan wrote a history of modern Armenian literature, Patmot Yaun Hayats, Nor Grakanot Yan, 1906-12, History of the Turkish Armenian Question Takka Hayats Hearts I Patmot Yaun, 1915, covering the period from 1870 to 1915, The Role of the Armenians in the Ottoman Empire, 1999, and The History of Armenian Diaspora, 2002. He wrote memoirs on Yervan Shahaz's 1917 and Esar Palhai Dusak 1951. Manuscript Catalogues Acharyan compiled catalogues of Armenian manuscripts kept at different locations. 
His catalogue of the manuscripts at the Sanisarian College in Erzurum slash Karin was published in Hans Amsoria in 1896-97. He later catalogued the Armenian manuscripts in Tabriz 1910, Nur Bayezid 1924, and Tehran 1936. Recognition. Acherian has been recognized as the father of Armenian linguistics by modern scholars such as Doris Sakayan, and the greatest Armenian linguist by Samvel Antosian. By the 1940s, Acherian had an international reputation greater than Nicholas Marr and Ivan Meshcheninov. Some authors have called him an undisputed authority. Rauvin Paul Adalian noted, that he single-handedly prepared the central scientific reference works on the Armenian language and, in so doing, Joss Weitenberg described him as the most outstanding personality in Armenian linguistic research. The Institute of Language of the National Academy of Sciences of Armenia is named after Acherian. His bronze bust stands at the central campus of the Yerevan State University. Hrachia Acherian University operated from 1991 to 2012. It was one of post-Soviet Armenia's earliest private universities. A bust of Acherian was unveiled in Yerevan's Evan district in 2015. Panos Terlamizian 1928 and Martyros Sarian 1943 painted portraits of Acherian.